Welcome back to the mini-series all about how to start a drone business, part two. This video, we're gonna answer another popular question we get asked all the time, and that is, what gear do I need? Now here is the million dollar question, but I'm going to start with a very scary statistic, and that is 90% of businesses will fail within the first two years because of a simple thing called cash flow, or a cash flow problem. Now put simply, it's basically more money going out than is coming in. As simple as it sounds, people still are getting this wrong. Most people get carried away with the romance of buying all the gear that they think they might need and writing it off on tax or as a business expense, then ultimately they will have all the gear and no idea. The main thing you need, obviously, is a drone, but a drone that will service your needs, not your wants. So let's talk about photography and video. So for real estate work, a Mavic 2 Pro, a Phantom 4 Pro are still incredibly powerful small drones and can be used for surveying and basic roof and gutter inspections. Now these are still sitting around the $2,000 mark um, with extra batteries and accessories and so on. Make sure you get those. Now the Mavic Air 2 is also very impressive. It's a little bit cheaper and you can get away with using this drone for real estate work and some really basic visual inspections. So things like roof and gutter inspections. And now an Inspire 2 is even better. It has interchangeable lenses for a different field of view, can be used on higher end TV and videos, even cinema jobs. And you can also conduct inspections with this. So you can use a 45 mil Olympus lens, or you can use the 45 to 175 Panasonic lens. The drone is slightly more expensive. It's a little bit larger. It does require two batteries per flight, SSDs, Cine DNG and ProRes license, but it's a really good step up if you are serious in getting into the photography and video space. Now I also bang on about this, look as professional as possible. If you're getting drone gear, don't forget to also look the part. So get your logo on your vehicle, get your logo on a shirt, basic t-shirts, safety signs, all that kind of stuff. Remember, drones are just a tool. They come, they go, but what's important is your skills, your knowledge and experience. So learn as much as you can, practice and get your confidence up. Okay, I hope this video helps you decide on which drone to get for your business and not confuse you more. The next video we'll be covering in this series is the five must-have apps for your drone business. You don't wanna miss that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.